Hello. Uh, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today, I will show you how to design a login control and with the full functionality. So, in the project in the NetBeans, add a JFrame to create a swing control uh, swing form that is the swing form with the controls. Add a label here. In the label that change the text by using the property window okay copy the another and both label having the text that is label one so change the text that is username and the second label having password okay now for this uh, username we have need a text field also in a password sections we use text field okay and what is the there is the text here yeah that is the text so remove it when first time load the screen similarly copy this and paste it here okay that is the j text field 2 default instance of the text field class okay now adjust it according you add a button control from the toolbox first of all add a simple label uh, for the label which represents the login so add a label it here and change the text that is login also set the font login form okay set the font that is 12 pixel 14 okay that's fine Now add a button control change the text that is login that's my fine save this and prepare a database for login control also use the action performed when we click on this button that's um, function is generated Add a simple database, create database, pass the database uh, name, login, db, login user. Pass user. Okay, that's fine. That is the password. After creating the database, you can open connection string which is related to that database that is login database. You can check your progress bar creating Java DB database. Okay, successfully created, connected and in the login database expand the node and expand the login user and create a table the name of the table is <coughs> user table 
add columns under user table that is name is id uh, that is integer type set primary key also add the another column that is name in the table that is username you can say long var variable type character add another column that is password yeah your table is successfully created under login database db file yeah that is user table if you want to add item in it then view data by using the left symbol table creation the integer value is directly inserted under the column but in the text column you can add edit column the username is Jacob right click edit data and your password is also Jacob okay okay that's fine the username and passwords in the table both are Jacob add the libraries under project or you can say driver for your JDBC connection so first of all after the in the login form when we click on the button your connection is mm, created here so create a connection under the click event connection con equals to new oops driver manager dot get connection driver manager is a class through which we can get uh, call the get manager method get connection method through which uh, we can pass database URL username and the password in the string format okay by default the connection state is open so do not close it in the service tag right click on the connections and pick the database URL yeah that's fine that is your database URL username that is login user is your username and user pass is your password actually user pass is not password uh, that is pass user I think is your password so uh, if your connection is uh, not created then give a proper message okay so in the next time I will see that login user is your uh, username is correct but uh, user passes I think it's not pass user is your passwords so next time I will see and try catch block I will do this so after do this uh, after connection state you can create a statement uh, actually I want to retrieve the item from the table so here you can use select a statement so for do this you can use create a statement method in the later video sessions I will uh, I will show you how to use prepare statements for the insert commands you can see that java.beans is uh, added in package remove this actually the actual package of the statement class is javax.sql.statement okay now use the result set rs equals to st.execute query you can execute the query by using the 
sequent object so use execute query with the string sql select star from user table the name of the table is user table okay remove the imports also use the while statements to fetch the one by one rows so rs.next by using the next method you can retrieve rows one by one check if you are getting query uh, or you can say get the getting value from the database table is matched with your uh, text field so oops yeah rs dot get a string uh, here we have a uh, index number of the column that is the two uh, it represents the user id username and password so user id uh, exists in the first column and username is exist in the second column so the first the user instance of the text field is j text field one so j text field one j text field one dot get text actually i want to uh, match the both text of the database table and the text field also use the logical operator and if both username and the password correct then you can log in into the database you can log in into the another form or you can say the successfully message displayed on the screen okay so create a boolean flag value you can also use the um, integer type value in place of bool actually bool is exist in the c sharp so you can use integer type integer flag equals to one flag is zero if your value is found then break the while loop okay after the after these mm, you can check the value of the flag if if it is modified then your value is available or you can say exist if your value is exist then uh, label control display a successful message otherwise display credentials error okay so j label 4 dot set text that is the successful message login success else j label 4 dot j set text j label 4 dot set text oops invalid invalid credentials or you can see username and passwords okay this is your login form save the connections
right click and add first of all libraries for the SQL connections and you can say driver java db is your data uh, driver java db driver for the nearby database run file login form yeah login form is correctly open when enter the jacob and jacob oops getting error what is this uh, yeah your driver manager dot cat connection is not properly managed so uh, thrown a mistake in the password I think uh, that is previously a uh, remember change the password in the source file user pass is not a password that is pass user I think this is your password this is your actually correct password okay run file again jacob and jacob invalid username and passwords oops oops the mistake is here again leaf4 is your password again invalid username and passwords so what is the mistake after the while statement rs dot get string it's means of second column that is username is matched with the first j text field check it view data yeah jacob is jacob and username is exist on the single uh, you can say one first index second index and password is on third uh, third index so what's the error yeah actually mistake is here that is the get string is 3 and change the text field value mm, here we have a, a j text field for the username and j text field 2 is for the password you can check j text field 2 for the password invalid username because in the if sections both values does not match so dot equals used for the deep match equals and this method pass under here okay in the same line 